CCTV Camera World is proud to provide support for products purchased from our website. If you purchased your product from another vendor, please contact the vendor you purchased from for further assistance. In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect our intercom that's here on the left hand side to our base station using a PoE switch. This is a four channel PoE switch along with some cabling. The one on the top here is a 50 foot Cat5e pre-made and a 25 foot Cat5e pre-made and a power cord and a power source right over there. The items you need to make your standalone system are pictured here. And I'm going to show you how to set them all up. So first, when you take everything out of the box, you will inspect this intercom and on the back side, there's a little ribbon cable coming out with a pigtail that has an RJ45 connection. So here we have our IC1080 PoE intercom. And this pigtail here that's pre-connected, let me show you how the connection is. There's a little ridge on the end facing me on the camera. It gets inserted facing out like so and then you push it in. You may have to disconnect this cable and reconnect it when you're mounting the intercom. Coming out of that is this RJ45 connection. An RJ45 connection is a computer cable connection, a computer network cable, or a Cat5 cable, or an Ethernet cable. That's what it looks like. So I'm going to take my base station, or video base station here. It similarly has a a connection in the back that you can remove gently. Please do not pull it with the uh, pliers, only pull it with your fingers and use gentle force taking it out. And again, it inserts the same way, like I showed on the other side, on the other one. Uh, the ridge is facing up, facing out, and it also has a RJ45 pigtail to connect to an ethernet cable. Now, I'll show you how easy it is to set it up. We pre-configure all of these so you don't have to do much. This is a standalone system, does not require any internet connection. You take one of your network cables, plug it into the PoE ports on the switch. If you notice, these Cat5 connections or RJ45 connections have a clip on there that helps it lock in. So you want to make sure it's secure and locked in. Now these four ports here are PoE ports. They provide power and data. So that's what's going to power up your intercom and your video base station and ports 5 and 6 here actually connect to the network if you were connecting these to the internet so you would connect that to your router in this case i'll be just using ports 2 and 4 you could use any 1 2 3 and 4 whatever pleases you but in my case just for ease of access i'm going to use ports 2 and 4 to connect my intercom and base station so now on the other hand i'm going to connect the other side of that cable to my intercom i'm going to do the same for the base station. Okay, now the only thing missing is really power. So what I'm gonna show you here is my power cord coming out of my 110 socket right here goes into the back of my PoE switch. So I'm gonna have that connected. And once that gets electricity, you'll start seeing these things boot up. The infrared LEDs on this intercom are coming on. The LEDs on the switch are coming on. And the base station will boot up soon. So it takes about two minutes or less to boot up the intercom and the base station. So once the base station is uh, booted up, you'll see this screen here and you'll see this logo or icon it basically is saying that there's no intercom connected. When you're powering it off or on, and you're using just our PoE switch to power it to make your own standalone intercom system, you're gonna have to connect the base station to the intercom. So this is how you do it. You click and hold the settings. So it's a long tap. And then this password field will come up. The password here is six number eights. And then you press on the top where it said password verification to exit the keyboard and then press okay. 
once you're in this menu here, let me give you a wide shot, you want to go to the SIP server. Click on the SIP server. Now, you'll see that this icon uh, or this yellow button that says on next to enable status. So once you click on it, it'll disable. And we'll now watch the icon on the top for the intercom that I showed you before. Click on the enable status off again. It turns on, then press OK. That intercom icon disappears, and that tells you it's connected. Now press OK to exit the menu, or press Home. Now you can actually initiate a call. So press the call button here on the base station by typing the intercom extension. In this case, it's 8001, and press the call button. So it basically calls the intercom right there, and you can kind of hear me talking. If you want to exit the call, all you do is you press here and press the hang up button. The end of the call. And the call's ended. Now, if you had to call back again, and let's say you have an elderly a family member using this, you can leave it at the screen. All you need to do is just teach them how to use this. You can also go to recent calls and just press it there. Press one more time. It'll call it again. The end of the call. Okay. Now, if someone is at the intercom, or let's say, let me show you how you can watch your intercom. So let me go back. This is your main menu by pressing the home button, click on monitor, click on main VTO, and it brings up that camera. You can watch it constantly. And if you want to talk to it, press this button, and it'll call it. And that's it. I, I had to hang up because otherwise it creates an echo there. But that's pretty much it. Now let's say you're at the home screen and someone calls you. I'm going to have somebody press the intercoms button on there. You get a call coming in like this. You can choose to hang it or take it. I'm going to take it. And I actually muted my microphone here so it doesn't create that audio loop. But this is pretty much it. You can actually talk to them. And our other video samples show you how the intercom basically the video looks like and how you interact with it. Let me hang this video up and let me show you the intercom itself. So here's a zoomed in view of the intercom. The, the button that someone needs to press at the intercom to call the base station is this one, the top one. We've, we always programmed that one to be the main button that calls the base station. And then this is the camera. It has infrared LEDs here. You don't want to block them. Um, so that allows the camera to see at nighttime. Here's the speaker. When you're mounting this, please make sure that this is protected from water and it's underneath a porch. It's not meant to get direct contact with water. Otherwise, the speaker that sits right behind this grill will get damaged and it's not replaceable. And there's a microphone right there. For advanced features, there is some access control features that we don't support ourselves. You're more than welcome to kind of tinker with it on your own time, but that's pretty much it. So let me show you when I, what happens when I press this button. Calling now. And basically it calls right there. That's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.